Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Where we left off, we were just in the process of helping our buddy Adal get a little bit of a province over here. Uh, I'm probably going to siege this down. I'll probably also siege down this province here. Let's detach a... Uh, oh, well, I'm actually going to need a lot of troops for this. So I may as well just put my whole stack in there, even though it will uh, take probably a little bit of attrition. That's fine. It is a uh, highland after all. We'll take two attrition here, which is not ideal. But it is not the end of the world. Request military guidance. Ooh. Temporary insanity of the monarch. This is hurting my prestige and my ducats. But I do like the idea of having really high military tradition because potentially here, this is 5 and 13 pips. Still 5 and 13. What if I refresh this window? Should be 6 and 14 pips. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, they, um... I'm tempted to do a leader roll here, but I think I'm saving up to get my next tech, because this is a, um... An upgrade to some of these guys. How are we doing? Ooh. Let's see. What do, what do cannons do? So cannons are quite good. They don't get a whole lot better for a while, but they're quite good. They're they're acceptable. They don't get any shock, really. Cavalry fire is actually reasonably important. If you have a cavalry fire over your opponent, it's actually a pretty huge advantage. Currently, although cavalry don't really get much better for a long, long time, they're kind of... Cavalry will be start falling out of favor um, for infantry soon as infantry start becoming cost-effective. Cavalry are nice just for flanking, really. That's all they really do. Too many diplomatic relations, yep. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected in the current situation. I think I would like to recruit a cannon for this army. Uh, but I think I'd rather go up to the... Um, to the thingy. So do we want to move towards legalism? This is a question because we are going to have lands that we want to convert. And I think moving towards legalism is fine because that'll keep our tech costs um, reasonable. Yeah, see, like even, even the military, even the mili military techs is only like 600, which is like the base price, which is quite good. I do need to get administrative support here from the Ulema um, in the not too distant future. And we're going to be getting our Ikta tax here for 268 ducats for basically doubling our current money in a couple of years. Although we're making plenty now. It means we're going to be able to build a lot of buildings, which is something I'm really excited for. Particularly because we have, we have some places where taxation makes sense, like Zabid. And Jazan. And those are cheap enough for me to actually justify it right now. Because they have cost reduction. So they're going to pay themselves off even quicker than we would normally expect. Um, and I will finally grab Barracks and Taiz. Uh, maybe I'm going overboard actually. I'll save, I'll save a little bit of cash. Yeah, I'm feeling very robust right now. I think, I feel like I've contributed enough to this war. So I'm going to be pulling back basically to my capital and start drilling these armies. I could get regimental caps and that would give me more force limit. I think we'll we'll hold off on that right now because we're we're in a we're in a construction phase. We don't need that yet. Um losing prestige, man, these prestige events are brutal. Yeah, I think we'll move towards legalism here. Keep the Ulema estate nice and loyal. The legalism is providing me with a lot of income. Ah, several different movements. So here's the Livonian order. It looks like they have picked up... Reformed, which is a new version of the Christianity. Let's see... Asian trade. Gain a trade bonus in either silk, spices, or chinaware. Create a colonial empire. I'm probably not going to be able to get any of these, really. 
realistically. Global trade. I don't know what global trade is. Is that like a thing? Is it a triggered modifier? Maka. Where is Maka? Ah, oh, it's Mecha. Right. If I could hold Mecha, that would be a nice little modifier here. I'd also like to get Jerusalem. Rome would be another thing, potentially, but Jerusalem primarily would be the would be the one. Let's go ahead and drill this army. Get our army professionalism up. Have a 5 point or 4.71% chance that this leader gets a pip every year. Haven't gotten any pips recently, even though I've been drilling quite quite regularly. Okay, let's recall that diplomat with the Ottomans. Let's have a look at Oman. Oh Oman, oh Oman, oh Oman. Oh How are you feeling about me, buddy? Now, Hormuz is still disloyal because I enforced my religion. I just want to be out of this war, Adal. Wait, where's your army? Adal? Where's your army, buddy? Do you have an army? Adal has 9,000 troops. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, you're walking over here. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know why you wouldn't just use the straight crossing, but okay. Yep, that's fine. Go this way. It's totally fine. I think we can go up to speed four here. Pick up, a, pick up the pace. Um, yes, we're making five ducats per month. This is really good. This is going to give me an opportunity to build some of these buildings. Like, I would like a dock in here. I would like to get docks for the uh, thingies, although I do need to be careful about how many buildings I'm building because potentially I could overbuild and not have room for other important buildings later. Um, I would like to get more forts. That's going to be a big one. I'm actually not sure why I'm making so much money. Is it production? I don't, I don't really know. But I seem to just be crushing it right now. Oh, do you know what it is? I got rid of my corruption. That's what it is. Okay, let's also drill this army. Another 5.06% chance that we will upgrade every year. So now it is time, I think, to get the barracks. That'll give me a nice boost of... I think 500 is the minimum, I'm thinking. Five hundred manpower is like the minimum where I would consider it. In fact, I'm tempted to boost it here as well because it's my capital, and it'll give me a uh, nice boost of manpower. Yeah, I think five hundred five hundred is the minimum I would consider there to do an upgrade, and then for this one, it would be an additional thousand manpower. It would have to be an additional thousand on top of. Yeah, or basically 1,500. I think that's a ratio that I can accept, but 500 manpower is the minimum. We lost our provincial trade power modifier. Now, he is a free thinker. I'm hoping to get this idea, just get that little bit of efficiency out of him. Okay, we fully improved our relations with Medina. I think I'm going to set my diplomats to just do neighboring countries and just get my relations up a little bit with my neighbors as we try to stabilize here. So, kind of... Pulled off our plot. The next... Okay. Let's go ahead and move Umar over there. To help him out. So the next sort of phase of development here is... To annex Oman. And then I think... Either we're going for... I think, I think we're going to go for Mushasha before we go for the Mamluks, because the Mamluks are kind of big and scary. Although Mushasha has pretty terrifying allies here too. We could use the Ottomans to help us fight the Mamluks, but the longer we hold off the Ottomans from starting their conquest of the Mamluks, the better, I think. Looks like they're ping-ponging this little army, and they stack wipe it. Very nice. So, do we want to move towards legalism again? Man, we're losing even more. Jesus Christ. 
I don't think I can lose... I don't think I can lose the prestige anymore because that's that's just crippling. I'm just gonna move towards mysticism. Whatever. I'll lose I'll lose a little bit of income. I think I can afford to. Plus, I do actually have provinces I can convert, so I may consider on the death of my leader going towards a mysticism side of things. Although the tech costs are really good. Domestic trade power for two years. Ouch. That's a lot of income crippled right there. Ooh, cavalry flanking ability, plus 50%, very nice. That's a brutal... 33%, a third of our uh, uh, trade power is brutal. Although it's not it's not exactly a third because of the way trade works, you know, it'll be... It'll be a third of our base trade power, like if we look here. Yeah, I see. Trade Nord is not in a trade... Trade Nord is in a trade company region. Yemen has 50% more trade power. Currently we are sitting at... how much? 34%, so we're actually doing quite well. Oh, I can actually reach over here, so let me pull this merchant out now. We'll start transferring from Goa. Pull... Pull that, pull that stuff towards, directly towards, um, here. So that's 5.72. Now we're pulling in even more. Okay, let's go ahead and grab... Do you want to grab this idea? Getting plus leader siege would be really nice here. And reducing the decay here would be really good too. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I think the big thing... Oh, I didn't, I, didn't I have a... I had this slotted in. This is probably costing me more money than it should. Although, do I want to do a little bit more development here, real quick? Yeah, I guess I could do two more pops of development. Although I would have to spend military points to do it. I'll do a pop. And then I'll, um... And then I'll disable this. What else could I put in here? Resistance to Reformation. Protect trade. Local trade power here, actually, speaking of which, would not be a horrific decision. In these provinces, because there is a decent chunk of trade power in here, but I think I'll I think I might just get rid of edicts. Save myself some money. Might be worth it to slot in the um, autonomy edicts actually over here, for example. Although they are getting pretty low. Speeding it up wouldn't be bad. I'll consider it. I think I think I just want to get lots of money right now because that's what I'm using to build. I'm going to be building more forts here as well. I think it's time to get some forts up. The emirs will gain influence. Okay, robber barons has disappeared. Speaking of which, could I talk to the merchant guilds now? If I asked for a contribution, that would hurt your loyalty by 10, but it would net me 148 ducats. I could also demand, but I can't grant you monopoly charters. So I'm just going to ask for a contribution and then let you slowly tick up here. But I can't let their loyalty dip down. And that's going to let me build the fort that I want. And now I think I want a fort in Al Yamaha. Because that'll mean people can't run up through this this flank on me anymore. I'd also like a fort over here to defend this little bit of territory, maybe on this province, but we'll see. Yeah, I think uh, generally speaking, you want your you want your forts 
if you're near a coast to be on the coast, it's just better. If you can manage it, because coastal forts have better defenses. Uh, because you have to blockade them, they get a bonus for blockading, I think. Yeah, I think Al Yamaha is going to be where I put a fort. It exerts a control over a lot of these territories, a lot of these provinces. Although I do have to remember, the downside of a fort is that it can also be used against me if it's captured. I think Al Yamaha is a is a pretty decent spot for one though, so I'll stick it down there. It'll take a while to build, but I think that's a I think that's a, I think it's a reasonable spot. I think you could argue there's better spots, but I think that's actually a fine spot. It exerts um it exerts control over these provinces that don't have control right now. And really just spreading them out makes it harder to move through my territory is kind of the goal right now. Ah, religious civil disorder. Thanks to these this reformed So, rebel uprising here. Let's have a look. The Mari Separatists. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do in the Mari sub for them. We will increase autonomy. And then we'll slot in the centralization effort right there. It cost me 0.2 ducats per month, but it'll uh, save me having to deal with a revolt. So, Mushasha's opinion of Yemen. Zabud gets protectionism. Or, I could lose trade power and get extra goods. That could net me a decent chunk of cash, so I think I'll go for the goods produced, because I, I have the stuff in here to make advantage of that. There's a nice big chunk of cash, yep. So, the question is, are we going to be deleting this fort at long last? I'm tempted by it. I think I want a fort in this territory as well. God damn it, military idea. Stop baiting me. I keep thinking you're the dip uh, admin idea. I may actually try to go up here to a level 2 advisor. Could I get one for cheap off one of these guys? Dimmy. No, sorry. The Ulema. Would you give me a minister? But the two, two unrest here. He's level 2 and he's cheaper to employ. Yeah, I think we'll go for him, because I need the plus one here. I think average is six. You want to be making six, so we're making just below average now at five. Religious civil disorder. They went with eradicate the heretics to bring peace. Stamp down on the movement. Let's keep going towards legalism for the duration of this leader's life. Adal now owes us 40 favors. Really great. Really, 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 really great. Let's go ahead and take full trust here. We've got so many favors. God damn. Uh, royal marriage from Medina. Okay, let's annex Oman. Medina's really loyal, oddly. Let's put a let's put a relative on their throne. Long-term loyalty for uh, short-term disloyalty for long-term loyalty. Let's pull back this diplomat. Uh, yes, royal marriage from Adal. So I've pretty much made the decision to bind my fate to Adal at this point. They're my buddy buddy. We're going to live together, fight together and die together is basically the goal here. Let's drill this army. Both armies are now drilling. Could I get more units perhaps? No. I get more boats though, almost certainly. Yeah. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I will go into my navy here and I will get one, two, three. Fully trading navy is what we want to be doing. I have no intention of ever really trying to fight with my navy, unless I'm completely outnumbering them. Okay, there's no good buildings for these, although Adan is viable. Where's my next fort going? I would really like a fort here because it means they can't run around my territory. It makes it really annoying for them to try and get around me. Um, we'll see. We'll see if this fort is enough to tick us up into having enough buildings for the thingy to get the benefits. What's the manufactory for coffee? Admin Tech 14. We're definitely going to want those. These plantations will be incredible in these coffee coffee territories. 
So, let's get this uh, Diplomat back and start annexing Oman. This will cost me four per month. It will take me until... Take me about six, seven years. Let's get started. And I think our diplomatic reputation should go up in the not-too-distant future, right? Because I think we're still suffering from annexed vassal. Nope. And then that actually means I should get rid of this mission there. So unfortunately, we, we don't really have high power projection right now, which is kind of holding us back in terms of monarch points. But we're fine, we're fine. It's all going good. see we almost have enough to go up a diplotech this will give me even more trade range now i could study technology how are we on tech yeah we're falling behind and the ottomans are the king of tech Although i'm kind of scared of studying the tech of an ally because i might piss them off we'll see what's the chance of detection We'll spy on them for a little while. Royal marriage from Oman. That's our vassal. I will take that. Noble officers. Yeah, I want to see if I can study tech of the Ottomans here. Uh, let's see. Prestige and legitimacy would be very nice right here. Because that would give me some unrest reduction and stuff like that. But I think I might go for mercantilism here. Getting three Mercantilism all at once is a really nice boost. I'll take it. Should see my income boost just a very small amount. Yeah, well, very small amount. It was a nice little chunk. Okay, let's take Ita. Yep, we're going to take uh, the Ikta thing. This is going to be efficient tax farming. Net me a big chunk of money to the point where actually I could become the defender of the faith here which would be uh, pretty cool pretty interesting idea here I don't think I'll do it though because I don't feel strong enough to do it local tax modifier I could build that in a dawn so I have all this money and I'm trying to think what the hell could I do with it well, one of the things I could do it is I could invest it into getting a bigger army, a bigger and scarier army. Um, that's not a terrible idea, I think. I could also invest it into doing these edicts here. Manpower recruitment, autonomy. Well, I definitely think autonomy here. At this point, we're making so much money, I feel safe. Doing autonomy stuff. A lot of these provinces are already fully autonomized. It's more like down around here and stuff. Get that autonomy reducing. So what's our next steps? Well, once we annex Oman, it's either the Mamluks or Mushasha that we're going to go to war with. And I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Mushasha for now. I think they're a weaker, easier target. They've less allies. The allies they do have are less scary. And we can potentially take the Ottomans on later. So let's start building a spy network in these guys. Much lower risk. Um, I'm really tempted to take espionage ideas. It seems like a lot of fun. Having spy network construction speed and having better detection of spies and liberty desire bonuses. and This all synergizes really well. You know, the liberty desire, fabricating claims is cheaper. Helps my corruption. The corruption help would be really great. Espionage is a really powerful idea group in my opinion. I think it'll actually go pretty well with the aristocratic ideas here. If I could find the boost here. Is it innovative, maybe? Yeah, you can even get faster spy network construction speed and stuff like that. Mm. I like the idea of going for it. I like going for the weird idea groups. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of like what I like to do. I like to go for the ones that maybe people usually don't go for. I'm trying to see if I can make them work really well. 
So we're going to want to have a war soon, I think, because our manpower is starting to get nice and high. Which means we're not, you know, spilling the blood of the innocent enough. We have a ton of cash. We could do some crazy stuff with that. What the hell could we do with this cash? I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this cash I have. I mean, trade power buildings are fine. I mean, Zabid. Plus two trade power. It's not a bad... It's not a bad investment long term, so I guess I'll take it. Two trade powers, like a couple of... It's like a, a cog, but it's a cog I don't have to pay maintenance for. I invest once. So over the course of a game, it eventually saves money. Oh, Katif. What is Katif? Where is that? Yep. Okay. I'll take that mission. And I want to see if I can get more... Um, our royal marriage with Adal has ended. I want to see if I can get more claims on this guy as well. So how do I... When can I study... Study technology here? How does study technology work? I need to like look that up in between episodes. I thought it was like a button I press or is it just when I have a certain power do I get like a discount? Ah yes, Yemeni Spy Network in Ottomans is giving me a 1.8% reduction. Ah, I see how it So just having a spy network in the Ottomans cheapens my technology. Okay, that's reasonable. Anyway. I'm going to call this an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.